Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make an ice and liquid dyed spiral. As usual, I washed and dried the shirt, soaked it in a soda ash solution for 20 to 30 minutes, wrung it out of my panda spin dryer, and I have it turned inside out. So right now the shirt is just barely damp. I'm finding an area where I'd like to begin the spiral, and I'm using a fork to start the spiral. As I turn the fork one direction, I'm using my other hand to form additional folds in the spiral. Once I have the shirt spiraled, I'm going to hold the folds in place with some rubber bands. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to ice and liquid dye this shirt. So I need to form some sort of a barrier to hold the liquid up close to the shirt and to keep the ice on top. So I've taken a piece of aluminum foil and I'm kind of crimping the aluminum foil down closer to the shirt. I'm doing this to reinforce the sides of this little aluminum foil boat. And I want the foil to be close to the shirt to help hold the ice on top. I've now placed the aluminum foil container down inside of a plastic container that's just a little bit larger. Before I apply the dye, I'm going to go ahead and put on my respirator. I don't mention this very often, but it's very important if you're working with these powdered dyes to wear a respirator. The dye powder is very fine and you don't want to inhale it. I'm beginning with gunmetal gray from Custom Colors and I'm going to make a small wedge or pie shape on the spiral. Most of the time when I make spiral shirts, I try to bring the pie shapes or the wedges into the center of the spiral, but I try not to apply a whole lot of dye into that center section. Because all the colors are going to go into that section, if I apply a whole lot of color into the middle, it's going to get really muddy and kind of lose the definition in the center of the spiral. I'm going to apply hot pink from Dharma Trading Company to either side of the gunmetal gray. Then on either side of the hot pink, I'm adding charcoal from Dharma Trading Company. I'm adding another wedge of hot pink on either side of the charcoal. I'm adding gunmetal gray on either side of the hot pink. And finally, I'm placing a wedge of hot pink right in the middle of the gunmetal gray. I'm adding an additional sprinkle of soda ash over the top of the shirt, just to make sure that there's plenty of soda ash left in the shirt as the ice melts and runs through the shirt. I need to have soda ash in the shirt to react with the dye. Then I'm going to add a generous layer of ice to the top of the shirt and set it aside to allow the ice to melt. After the ice melted, this is what the shirt looks like. 
I think I'm going to leave the shirt alone and not add any more ice to the top. I am going to add the liquid dye though. I'm using passion fruit and strawberry from Custom Colors. I have a little bit less than four ounces of each of these colors, but I'm going to pour the entire container down into this foil boat. Then I'm going to allow the shirt to sit in this liquid dye and absorb the dye from the bottom of the shirt up. I allowed it to sit for about 24 to 36 hours before I began rinsing it. As you can see, there's quite a bit of dye left in the bottom of the foil. To rinse the shirt, I began rinsing in cold water to rinse out any of the soda ash that was remaining in the shirt. As you can see when I turn the shirt over, there's a little bit of light area left toward the center of the spiral. It doesn't look like the strawberry and passion fruit absorbed up into the bottom of the shirt quite as well as I was expecting them to. After rinsing in cold for a while, I gradually warmed the water up to hot and rinsed in hot water to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. When the water was rinsing almost clear, I threw the shirt in the washing machine along with a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent and I washed it in a hot cycle. After the shirt was washed and dried, this is what it looks like. So I didn't get great color saturation in this shirt. I still have quite a bit of white left. I actually don't even think you can see the hot pink in this shirt. I think the pink color that I see coming through is maybe the strawberry and the passion fruit. Either that or I see the hot pink and the strawberry and the passion fruit disappeared. I'm not entirely sure what happened. I think maybe there was too much liquid in the shirt after ice dyeing it that it didn't absorb all of the liquid dye as well as it should have. Because I was expecting after using both ice dye and liquid dye there to be very little white left. I've used that process on other shirts and generally I don't have a lot of white left. I do think the shirt ended up looking cool though. I like the pink and the black or the darker colors mixed together. So I wouldn't call this shirt an entire fail. I would just call it not exactly what I was expecting. So what's your opinion? Do you think that the pink that's in there is from the strawberry and passion fruit or do you think it is the hot pink? Because one of them didn't work, but I'm not entirely sure which one. So leave me a comment down below and tell me what your opinion is. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.